This is part two of chapter 11, angular kinematics. Uh, we are continuing with the discussion over angular distance, displacement, speed, velocity, and acceleration. Uh, this is the meatiest part of the chapter. I want to familiarize yourself again with the linear kinematics equivalents. It will help you greatly as you think about the angular kinematics equivalents. It's just a new description. Instead of moving from point A to point B, it's from angle A to angle B. Um, Let's talk about um, the first uh, level. We're talking about the angular distance versus the angular displacement. Again, in linear, we talked about how distance is the total distance traveled, and displacement is the distance from start to finish. Um, the same is true for angular distance and displacement. Angular distance is the sum of all of the changes of angles. Angular displacement is the final angle from the initial. If I move from point A to point B, my distance and displacement is the same if I only use one motion. But if, in order to get there, I were to use many motions, my angular distance would be a sum of all of those motions, whereas my angular displacement is only from start to finish. Um, angular distance unit is phi. Uh, angular uh, displacement unit is theta. Um, we are using the overall units of degrees, radians, or revolutions. Degrees, you know, are from 0 to 360. That would be an entire single revolution. Uh, we could talk about range of motion is most commonly in degrees. When we're mathematically computing angular kinematics, we're using what's called radians. Radians, uh, or shorthand RAD, is 1 radian equals 57.3 degrees. Roughly that, that is 1 radian. Um, a single radian is 360 degrees divided by 2 pi. It is mathematically much easier to calculate uh, angular kinematics in radians than it is in degrees or revolutions. But in the context of conversation, degrees and revolutions are sometimes easier for us to, to discuss. Um, clockwise is labeled as a positive direction. Counterclockwise is labeled as a negative direction. Um, that is generally agreed upon in biomechanical texts. Uh, on to the second level, we have um, speed and velocity. Angular speed is sigma. It uh, looks like a circle, uh, you know, a little stick figure head with a hat on it. And W, the sign of omega, is the sign for angular velocity. Angular speed and velocity are calculated in degrees per second, radians per second, or, or revolutions per second more commonly converted into revolutions per minute, or RPM, a term many of you are familiar with. Um, and finally, we have angular acceleration, which is also alpha. Looks kind of like the Jesus fish on the back of cars. Uh, angular acceleration is a measure of degrees per second squared, or the change in degrees on a given amount of time. Radians per second squared, or revolutions per second squared. This is the conclusion of section two out of three for chapter 11. Uh, we will continue in a moment with a comparison between linear and angular uh, measurements, uh, including a discussion on curvilinear distance.